Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, 20 to 4 odd in the UK on the 1st of July, first half of the year gone. Uh, so I'm looking at Vectorvest USA. Markets opened up uh, reasonably strongly. Uh, and uh, uh, the uh, S&P uh, is up uh, 17 points, 17 full points from uh, last night's close. And uh, the Dow is up 85 points from last night's close. The uh, Vectorvest Composite uh, looking good. The short-term trend has turned to up. Uh, it's been down for the last few days. Uh, let's see if that stays until the end of the day. Uh, the underlying trend is up and we've got a confirmed up. As I'll show you in a second, the DEW or medium term market timing signal is up. And I put on the DEW market timing signals onto the Vectorvest Composite. Uh, and uh, that was the signal to buy, not an easy signal, on the 6th of April. And that signal is hanging in there. There's been a few dodgy days on the way up, but nevertheless, the signal is still intact. This market looks to me as if it wants to go a little bit higher here, doesn't it? Uh, uh, we, we still uh, got uh, the buy-sell ratio coming from a, a mega overbought uh, situation. Uh, the MTI pretty much the same. Has it broken out of a little triangle here? But I think what's probably uh, more likely is that we're going to move up. And I think that the bears will hit this again. If I put up a three-month chart, uh, probably uh, at 78% of this range. In other words, that this 1, A, B, and C. And I would, I would expect the market, in fact, Clearly, it'll find resistance around that old top, but the next level, folks, if you look on the Vectorvest Composite, the next level will be at about uh, 47,700, uh, 800 odd, at about that level. So, uh, with any luck, we'll get a fairly speedy trip to that level, and that could be quite good for some of our swing trading positions. Uh, so uh, earlier on today, I uh, had up uh, the uh, uh, S and P futures market, and uh, it didn't really, it nearly did what I thought it was going to do. Not quite. Uh, the market came back, in fact, uh, to a trend line. Now that trend line, when I did this earlier, wasn't that easy to discern. I've drawn it beautifully now because I, in fact, took it from that body and it produced a beautiful line. Uh, that wasn't as easy because it, there was a spike down here and trend lines are always difficult with spikes, but it pulled back beautifully uh, to that uh, uh, that trend line. And as you can see, there's an area where the resistance has become support uh, and always difficult to draw fibs with the spike, that uh, spike up here. But nevertheless, uh, my level was, I said 3069, it stopped at 3074. Nevertheless, uh, the market then charted two beautiful 30 minute uh, pin bars and uh, that was a really good signal uh, to get along here and uh, that some people would call those tweezer bottoms I think uh, and uh, then that was confirmed by that uh, blue yellow uh, uh, blue uh, 30 minute candle and from 3087 this ride to the upside again difficult to project targets uh, because we're not quite sure how much volume was done in that spike right at the close last night. So uh, I'm still looking for 3035, I think, uh, was the target. So uh, if we now have a look at, uh, I've added some positions since I've spoken to the Vectorvest regulars on Monday afternoon. Uh, I bought into Lulu, and there's a great example of a spring, a Wyckoff spring in Lulu. Uh, this is something that I teach in the seminars and uh, talk about at our Vectorvest uh, conferences. But uh, this market is pulled back, couldn't make a new high, and then it came back and took out those uh, lows. And then all of a sudden it sprung up the page, as you can see, with a gap. So if the general market goes higher, this bodes very, very well uh, for a, a move up the page. And I bought into it uh, just before the close the day before uh, yesterday. That'd be Monday afternoon sometime Monday uh, late sometime and uh, that's going quite uh, nicely indeed I also bought into uh, the GDX uh, and uh, the GDX uh, 
I announced these on an American uh, TV channel yesterday morning called the Investors Channel as well. And uh, the GD bought this also on Monday afternoon. Uh, GDX gapped out of this little consolidation. There's five waves in that consolidation, as you can see. This resistance became support. And then uh, we had an outside day, and I felt that that was... Uh, Okay, so we'll see how well that does. Uh, clearly, it should get some motivation uh, from the gold price. Uh, the rest of the uh, stocks are, are doing fine. Uh, AMD, I'm still sweating in. I came back and found support at uh, a, a support level where it's found support three or four times now. So let's hope that this does it. And Microsoft, of course, just keeps on going. And TradeNet has been magnificent. TradeNet looks interesting, folks, because I think... It uh, also charted a spring a little while ago. Beautiful textbook spring. I, I'm into it from 300, but it seems to have broken out of this little uh, consolidation here. Uh, not quite a spring, uh, but nevertheless, uh, this little coil. And it would seem to have broken out of the coil and uh, running quite nicely on the upside. So uh, I think there's probably more legs in TTD as well. Uh, these are all spread bets for me. Uh, and... Uh, uh, they're all running reasonably well. As I say, I, I, I am a little underwater and only one position. That's an AMD. So uh, to go back to the composite again, I think we'll find that uh, with any anything can happen, uh, and uh, we that we could easily get a nice run up to that 78% retracement, and then I think that the bears will re-enter the party again. Uh, and uh, we could get some noise there through those levels then uh, we could be uh, away for quite a nice run on the upside it's been such a strange year I did a talk to our Belfast user group at lunchtime and uh, uh, they asked me what have I learnt from the year and what I learnt from the year is quite simple just take the vector vest signals and don't think too much uh, that was a beautiful buy signal that signal is incredibly difficult to take folks uh, on because the, there's an awful lot of angst around in the first week of April uh, and uh, uh, when it's time to buy you won't want to and similarly when it's time to sell you won't want to I've reiterated a dozen times that I'm holding my positions uh, until uh, the DEW changes its mind. It was a few dodgy days, as I say, uh, but we're still hanging in there, uh, and uh, uh, long may it last. Uh, this trend is mature, but it's still got legs. Uh, so let's just enjoy the ride. Uh, thanks very much. I hope you find these are helping.